It takes a lot for me to get excited by an American sports title. As a kid, many of the sports were never shown on mainstream TV here, and aside from one or two fans in school, there was never much demand for an American football, hockey or baseball game getting a release here in the UK. Saying that however, when it comes to arcade style sports games, they were all the rage, and games such as NBA Jam and Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey proved that the sport didn't need to have a fan base here, the game just needed to be good. Although I played and got some enjoyment from the All-Star Baseball series, their deep simulation style of gameplay turned me off after a short while, and I much preferred the pick up and play style just to kill a few hours. When I saw the title Ken Griffey Jr's Slugfest, I instantly got the impression that this wouldn't be a simulation game, and thankfully Angel Studios delivered perhaps the best arcade baseball game on the console in mid-1999. Like most sports games, all the game modes you'd expect are here. You have exhibitions, seasons, tournament play and some basic roster management, but what instantly caught my attention was the home run derby mode. Essentially this mode sees you pick your batter and attempt to smash as many home runs as possible. It's short, sharp and incredibly satisfying to play when you get good at it, and for those turned off by the complex controls of other games you'll be pleased to see here there is a much simpler control system. This is also the mode that you should play with your friends and family, because after a few short swings getting the feel of the game, you can have a blast with three other people seeing who can get the highest score. But whatever game mode you play, you'll quickly realise that this is one of the best looking sports titles on the console. Head into the options menu and turn on the game into the high resolution mode, and if you have the expansion pack you can also turn on the television style presentation and the game looks sublime. The player models look sharp, the stadia and lighting cast some great shadows, and the quick cuts of the camera during key moments really brings the game to life. It's not all perfect however, as some movement causes a frame rate to shudder, and certain animations which are used sparingly seem to have been hashed together quite quickly. Thankfully though, when it matters the most the game remains rock solid, and different players show different emotions when playing, and so it does help to bring them to life. For example, cocky players will kick up dust, and if you get three strikes, then if you have a hothead, he'll show signs of aggression. This is all enhanced further by the Dolby Surround Sound audio. Sure, all the songs and crowd chants do their part, but it's the chatter amongst the on-field players which adds a sense of rivalry and competition to the game. All this is rounded off with some good delivery of the game's commentary, which can be turned off should you decide you want to clean a sound experience. The game used Factor 5's compression tools, and so there's a surprising amount of dialogue when comparing this to all the other ball games. For those who want to be a part of the action, then the standard creative player mode will allow you to make yourself and then draft yourself into a team of your choosing. All 30 Major League Baseball teams of the time are present with the correct players, and some good facial detail without the game having had the face model mapping feature. Perhaps the only disappointment is the game's pitching. Whereas All-Star Baseball gave me a much greater sense of control, Ken Griffey Jr's Slugfest doesn't have the same level of depth. Its batting may be suited to the arcade style of gameplay, but when you're at the pitching mount, the lack of control over your pitches means you'll often see your efforts be blasted into the atmosphere. It's hard to fault this game for someone looking for an arcade fix. For its price on launch, it would have been hard to justify as I think after a few hours with it most people will have had enough, and if you wanted something more in depth, and with better bang for your buck, then I'd still say to stick with the All-Star Baseball series. Thankfully though, both games are cheap to pick up, and so for today's topic of conversation I'd love to know what your favourite baseball game on the console is. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and until next time.